So today we are starting on a new project. This area behind me is going to be the location of my sister and her husband's house. Um, so we are setting the piers, um, 36 piers because it is 18 foot by 60 foot. And it's actually the same builder that built the shell for my dad's house. Uh, the difference is my dad's house is obviously much smaller. His was 16 by 38, which is only 600 and something, 608 square feet or something like that. And theirs is 16, no, 18 by 60, um, which is 1,080 square feet. So it doesn't sound a, like a lot, but that's, it's, it's a huge difference. Um, and then my dad's was just a shell and I finished it out with uh, a little bit of help. Um, but I finished it out for him and uh, my sister and Sean are buying their house from the, the same manufacturer and it's complete ready to go. It's totally finished. Anyway, that's what we're working on and uh, we're ready to get started. step um, we've got two more bags mixing for this hole that we're working on um, we have tons and tons of old t-post so we're not using rebar we're using t-post hopefully it works just as well uh, but it's it's free and we didn't have to go buy anything we didn't have to, we you know we didn't have to go to the store to get anything so uh, that's what we're using but so next process uh, once this one finishes mixing we'll pour it in to that hole and then uh, once we get four bags in there I've got my form set up here and we're not using sonitude since we're using an auger the auger is on, it's a 12 inch auger. So we're using 12 inch tube. And uh, some of them are PVC. We're using junk that we had uh, because it's free. So uh, we're, we've got some of them in some 12 inch PVC. And then some of them we're using buckets, uh, like five gallon paint buckets. So we've got a five gallon bucket. We just created a square frame to go around the bucket. It's a friction fit. We probably should attach it, but uh, we're reusing the wooden frames. So it's a friction fit. And then uh, you can see on these other ones that we've already finished, um, once it dries, we just pull the frame off and reuse it. So these are the ones that we did last night. Um, this one right here, that one over there, and that one over there. And then today we've got, uh, that one, that one, that one, that one. So that's one, two, three, four. And we're working on number five in that hole right there. And now I just laid out for the last three. We're gonna try to get eight done today. 
that's uh, about one an hour. That was our goal. I'll let you know at the end of the day if we met our goal or not.
back at the foundation for Carmen and Sean's place. Got some holes going right now. Uh, we're finishing up hole number four for today. Today's going really fast. We've only been at it about two hours, maybe a little over two hours, and we already have four holes done. So, I mean, if we keep up at this pace, actually, we would finish uh, if we kept at this pace. I don't know if we'll be able to keep this pace all day, but we got a little extra help. Matt's helping us today. And then Sean and his brother worked on it uh, Saturday when I wasn't here and they got six more done. So the more we do, the faster it gets. I'm gonna get back to work. Dad's working on the forms. I don't know if I showed you guys this the other day, but uh, we've just got a, a simple little four-sided wooden form. Uh, so it keeps the form just above the ground. And that bucket only goes in the hole about a foot. Um, but the auger drills a Bit almost perfect 12 inch hole so we're not using sauna tube we are just putting a 12 inch hole and then the form at the top is really honestly just to help us get the top level um, and then I think I told you guys this the other day we've got tons and tons of old T posts that we can't reuse because they're bent and broken we're cutting those down to length here's a whole pile of them and we're using that for our rebar it's free
on the very last pier. Um, we've probably got to mix two more bags after this, and then it's it's all completely finished. Last one, we're done. This project's finished and we're on to the next step for Carmen's house to get moved out here. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching, really appreciate it. Um, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up to let us know. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, um, subscribe and turn on notifications. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.